This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good evening, I'm Spencer Blake. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Police confirm basketball legend Michael Jordan's son was arrested, accused of assaulting staff members at a local hospital in Scottsdale. Detectives tell us Jeffrey Jordan was taken to the hospital Friday night after he fell and hit his head at Casa Amigos. While he was being treated, police say he started assaulting the staff. He was released from the hospital Saturday and then arrested on suspicion of aggravated assault. He has since been released and hasn't been officially charged. Family and friends gathered tonight to remember a beloved Phoenix man killed by an alleged drunk driver. Hans Hughes was an ambassador for downtown Phoenix. He was hit by a car on August 20th while riding his bike home from work. His family says he woke up from his coma and was getting ready to go home this week when he suffered a pulmonary embolism and died. The community raised more than $40,000 for his family. And a hiker fell six feet and rescuers had to use a helicopter to hoist him out of South Mountain. The man slipped and fell and fractured his leg and hip. We know of multiple rescues because there were a lot of people out hiking when the weather was a little bit cooler on Saturday, Lauren. Exactly right, and Mother Nature keeping those cooler temperatures calming. Look at that over these next seven days. That's because we're dealing with a slow moving low pressure system. That's returning that next round of heavy rainfall. Localized flash flooding certainly going to be a concern. It will be incredibly widespread throughout the day on Sunday. We'll start to diminish on the rainfall and storms early Monday. Some of that very well could linger into Monday morning, keeping those highs in the 80s these next couple of days, even in the lower 90s. A lull in the action Tuesday, but that next system is going to make a push in our direction, possibly returning that next batch of rainfall and even storms. That's going to cap our highs to right at around 90 middle toward the end of the work and school week. And check out those overnight lows, upper 60s to the lower 70s. A nice looking forecast. For updates on more stories that we're following, you can always download our Arizona's Family app and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Spencer Blake. Have a good night.